My name is Clayton Sally. I'm from Austin. I'm an artist and metalsmith at the Texas Tech School of Art. So to develop my portfolio for the Airmont application package, I made works of art using these natural forms that I call spicules. Once I made that body of work, it was apparent to me that movement and sound were very important to me, integral to my practice, and I wanted to move into that more. There is something immediate about sound coming right at you and responding to your body's movement. It's this immediate transfer of energy. So I'm very interested in sound, movement, and Aramont was an opportunity to push that to another dimension by changing the sound that those spicules make when they hit together. Instead of a metallic -y sound, I could make a... Color and sound. Those were two changes to my work that Aramont allowed me. When I got to Aramont, our instructor, Anne Havel, was doing quite a few demonstrations, and they were awesome. Um, I had an idea in mind that I wanted to produce while at Aramont. I produced and made and soldered uh, a few dozen cones. So I had a, a whole bunch of cones, and I covered them with wet enamel. And by the time I had made so many cones, I had very limited time to actually practice enameling. But luckily, I was able to do nothing but practice the enameling because I had all these cones ready. So I quickly threw on some wet enamel over these cones very messily. It was a great time. I, I got these fire bricks that are a staple to a metal studio, and I built up this kind of like a kiln, kind of like a, ha a quarter dome or just a, a brick wall that throws the heat back at the enamel. And I fired these cones. I torch fired it. It was all about torch firing. So I torch fired the enamel around the cones. Then all of a sudden these metal cones were glass cones in a way. Um, and I was very interested in the sound that these would make on a piece of jewelry. And I was also interested in making a non-functional jewelry piece. So I um, bought some still wire, still wire and I made them into jump rings and I attached these cones all over the jump ring, and I attached that chain to a ring. Um, all of a sudden I have this um, ring that is not very functional because there's several feet of chain below it with these cones, but it makes a very nice sound, you know. There were people from all over the country at Aramont. Artists from every corner of the country were there. Even some people from different countries were there. This was my first time studying amongst other artists from all different backgrounds. Texas Tech, you meet people from all different backgrounds, but there's a lot of people from Texas. At Aramont, it's very rare to have two different people from the same place. So with that being the case, I was able to hear from a whole bunch of different perspectives from all different kinds of backgrounds helped inform my practice and it helped me understand what I can do as an artist um, to continue to advocate for myself and seek out professional opportunities such as Aramont. Aramont was a special place. Everybody who was there was there with a purpose. They were there with the intention to better their art practice, to better their skill. And that's a that's a very cool thing because I'll just say it, it was a very positive environment for art making and for networking. It's also able to talk through some ideas with some artists and just develop my ideas, but ultimately it broadened what I already know and it introduced me to things that I didn't know. Well, I approached Aramont, uh, I tried to have an open mind so that it would influence me in ways that I might not intentionally let it influence me. If you want to survive as an artist, you have to seek out opportunities. And Aramont was an opportunity that was in front of me. Um, Texas Tech put out this announcement that they were going to be sending two people to stay for a week at Aramont. They would cover all expenses. They would cover travel, room, and board. And all you have to do is send in an artist statement, send in a portfolio of work, and write an essay of why you want to go to Aramont. So I... I did two things. One of them was I got a lot of work done so I could shoot photos and have my package together. 
And then I looked up, did a lot of research into the courses offered at Aramont. And from doing the first of those two things, from making my body of work that I used to apply to Aramont, I discovered that movement and sound is very important to my work. 